Three Atlas is the name of a mysterious object currently passing through our solar system and attracting the attention of astronomers. It could be another extremely rare interstellar visitor like the famous Mua Mua, one of those mysterious objects that came to us from the depths of space and left many questions unanswered. The new interstellar object was discovered by the Atlas system, which continuously monitors the sky using powerful telescopes in Hawaii and South Africa. What if 3E Atlas is not just an ordinary piece of rock, but was sent to observe us? Something mysterious is approaching our Earth, and no one knows exactly what it is. 3E Atlas is a strange, brightly glowing object racing through the cosmos at around 245,000 km per hour and probably originating from interstellar space. This would make it the third known interstellar visitor ever discovered by humans. The object was found by the automated Atlas system, which scans the night sky with several powerful telescopes in Hawaii and South Africa. This combined surveillance scans the sky around the clock for threats. In this context, asteroids and comets that are approaching Earth and could potentially collide with it. The Atlas surveillance system scans all small and medium-sized objects that are moving quickly, records their exact position, and automatically calculates their flight path. This creates a kind of real-time asteroid and comet map of the night sky. Now, the system has discovered something that surprised scientists. 3E Atlas immediately stood out due to its strange trajectory and unusual brightness. Some astronomers believe it is a comet, others an asteroid, and still others, such as renowned Harvard professor A.V.I. Loeb, do not rule out an artificial origin, as in the case of Oumuamua. This is because this object is also accelerating in a way that cannot be explained by gravity alone. Could this be the second potential extraterrestrial probe? 3E Atlas, a simple chunk of ice and rock, or something dangerous? 3E Atlas will come close to us in December 2025. Although it will pass at a safe distance, the passage of this object remains somewhat strange. Similar to the earlier interstellar visitor Oumuamua, the object is moving unusually fast and on a trajectory that leaves more questions than answers. After Oumuamua in 2017, the object Borisov entered our solar system in 2019. Borisov was later classified as a simple interstellar comet that came to us either from the Oort cloud or from the depths of space. Unlike Oumuamua and 3 Atlas, this object exhibited the typical comet-like evaporation of ice and gas and was therefore quite easy to explain. Only Oumuamua and now 3E Atlas continue to puzzle our researchers. If 3E Atlas is a relative of Oumuamua, this object may now offer an opportunity to clarify the true nature of the two objects. One thing is certain. None of these three objects originated in our own solar system but came to us from outside, meaning they originated from interstellar space and thus from another solar and planetary system. Asteroids and comets are remnants of matter formation. They remain after stars and planets are formed in gigantic disks of dust and gas. The trajectory of 3E Atlas suggests that this object has already made an impressive journey across our galaxy, a flight that probably began millions of years ago and far beyond our planetary neighborhood. The object is currently located about 3.8 astronomical units from the Sun, that is almost 570 million kilometers, or 3.8 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The object is approaching on a hyperbolic, non-closed orbit, which means that free Atlas will cross our system once and then disappear forever. On October 3rd, 2025, the object will approach a planet for the first time, Mars. It will not pass directly by the red planet, but on astronomers' maps, this moment marks a point at which the object will definitely be inside the inner solar system. Just three weeks later, on October 23rd, three Atlas will reach perihelion, the point in its orbit closest to the Sun. At that point, 3E Atlas will have come within about 300 million kilometers of the Sun, roughly twice the distance between Earth and the Sun. The perihelion is a highlight in the passage of an object through our solar system. Basically, it's the Sun that magically attracts objects such as asteroids and comets. The objects are captured and inevitably approach each other, but then fly on again due to their own dynamics and acceleration processes that take place during flight. Only rarely do comets and asteroids break up in the sun or even in planets, as happened in 1994 to comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in the vicinity of Jupiter. When the interstellar visitor reaches its peak, we will be standing with our Earth exactly on the opposite side of the sun, so that no direct encounter will take place. It will not approach us until December 2025, when the object flies out of the solar system again, but still at a safe distance. After that, 
Three E Atlas will leave our solar system for good. Its trajectory taking it back into interstellar nothingness, where it will probably continue its journey for millions of years, passing many star systems along the way. Mysterious travelers between the stars, interstellar objects are scientific sensations. They come from outside our solar system and reveal incredible details about the dynamics and conditions in the universe. It sounds crazy, but for a long time, such objects were considered mere theory. Scientists thought it impossible for smaller objects to make interstellar journeys. In 2017, Oumuamua was the first such visitor to be discovered beyond doubt. The cigar-shaped object flew through our solar system at high speed, causing worldwide amazement. Not only did Oumuamua pass by Earth at a hair's breadth, it also did not display any of the typical characteristics of a comet, such as a tail or outgassing. Even more puzzling. As it moved away from the sun, it accelerated in a way that was difficult to explain with known physical forces. Some scientists, including Avi Loeb once again, speculated that it could be some kind of extraterrestrial artifact. All attempt to determine the exact composition of Oumuamua or to find out more details about the object failed or proved very difficult. About a kilometer long, strangely shaped, and barely visible, the object seemed to defy description. The question of whether this invisibility was intentional was not only troubling to experts. The idea of a well-camouflaged probe flying through our solar system is bizarre. And now, three Atlas could be the next object of this kind. Three Atlas combines the special features of its two predecessors in an interesting way. It moves at extreme speeds like Oumuamua, is unusually bright like Borisov, and follows a trajectory that clearly originates from outside the solar system. Particularly exciting, its brightness suggests a comparatively large size. Three Atlas may even be significantly larger than Oumuamua and Borisov. If this new visitor from the depths of space really is a comet, it will be a truly colossal specimen. The increasing frequency of such discoveries raises questions. Have these visitors always been there, invisible to earlier telescopes? Or are we currently experiencing a special phase of cosmic encounters? More unrecognized visitors from the depths of space, interstellar visitors could be quite normal, and it's quite possible that we simply haven't seen them before. For a long time, it was believed that foreign celestial bodies passing through our solar system was extremely rare, if not impossible. Little was known about how objects could travel through interstellar space and what forces were at work. The trajectories of the three visitors are so strange that their origin can only be roughly reconstructed. We know too little about the conditions that prevail in interstellar space and how they affect the flight capabilities of objects. Trajectory reconstructions could reveal the extent to which objects are slowed down or even accelerated, providing exciting details about the physical conditions in the universe. Interstellar objects are therefore much more than just rare or exciting. They are important scientific ambassadors that should be studied more closely in the future. It is clear that these objects which travel on very long hyperbolic trajectories, must have experienced extreme acceleration in order to travel so far and remain on their trajectories. We also need to study these objects to find out how common they are and what threat they may pose to Earth. Oumuamua was alarmingly only discovered when it had already almost left our solar system. Shortly before that, it raced past Earth on an unusual trajectory at a distance of only about 24 million kilometers. That's about 60 times closer than Mars is to Earth. If the object had deviated from its trajectory by just a few degrees, it would have been too late to react. An object one kilometer long and traveling at extreme speed would have crashed into Earth. The force of the impact would have been enough to devastate a continent or trigger a global climate catastrophe or gigantic tsunamis. So, could a future interstellar object be on a collision course with Earth without us detecting it in time? The possibility exists, even if it is fortunately very low statistically. The Vera Rubin Observatory, a system designed to detect asteroids and comets even faster and better, will soon be launched. A probe to three Atlas, messages from distant worlds. Scientists would pay millions for a tiny fragment of such an asteroid or comet. If it turned out that these objects really were extraterrestrial probes, that would be even crazier. A tiny splinter of three Atlas would be a cosmic jackpot for research. A sample could tell us more about other solar systems and decades of sky observation. A piece of rock or dust particles would be tangible and analyzable evidence from other worlds in the universe. 
Such interstellar fragments could have completely different chemical compositions, exhibit isotopic signatures that do not occur in our solar system, and it could provide us with clues about organic molecules, water, or exotic metals. Thanks to such samples, we could understand whether elements similar to those found on Earth exist in other worlds, or whether physical, chemical, or even biological values vary within the universe. Oumuamua could never be studied directly because it was already too far away when it was discovered. Borisov also remained out of reach for sampling. But with three Atlas and improved technologies, there is growing hope that we will be able to respond more quickly, more precisely, and with a space probe in the future. A probe similar to osiris -X could remain permanently stationed in space and launch when an interesting object appears to collect samples before the rare visitors leave us again. Click subscribe now and be there for every exciting new video.